All right, what's up guys? Today we're doing a video on how to get good sounding audio in your YouTube videos. All right, so getting right into it, first of all, we want to do is head over to this website, audacityteam.org, uh, link in the description, and download Audacity, which is the recording software which I use to record my sound and is very, very popular. Simply hit the download Audacity button, and you can get it for Windows, Mac, Linux, all that good stuff. So you can install it pretty much on any computer you want. Um, I'm using Windows, so I would hit the Audacity for Windows button and download the installer there. But I've already got Audacity installed, so I'm not going to do that again. All right, so if you've done that, you want to open up Audacity. Wait for it to load. And cool, here we go. All right, so once you're on Audacity, you want to make sure that your microphone and headphones are set properly. So you want to um, see on this uh, toolbar here, you want to make sure your microphone is set to your mic your default microphone. Um, you want to see you make sure your speakers are set to your speakers. Um, after that, you want to hit this button to record, and then you want to hit it, uh, this button here to stop recording when you're ready. So essentially what you want to do is you'll start recording on your um, your screen recorder or maybe your game capture software or whatever, or, or maybe if you're, just, if you're just doing a commentary, maybe you've just got Audacity open and you just want to have some, um, uh, some commentary to layer over the top of your gameplay or something. So what you want to do is hit this record button, and you can talk, and as you can see, the waveform is changing as I'm talking, and the... Um, uh, and the recording level, the bar over here, is saying how loud I'm speaking. Um, and you can see that reflected by these peaks um, on the waveform at the bottom. All right, so essentially what you want to do is you want to, at the beginning of recordings, you want to have a, just a, a period of silence where you don't talk. Um, and so you have just have the background noise and um, interference picked up by your microphone. Uh, this is going to be used later on for when, we're, um, for when we, re we remove the background noise. Um, to make your recordings sound crisp and clear without any sort of like buzzing, hissing in the background. So what I want to do is you just want to, um, I want to get rid of this track, is when you start recording, you're just going to have this period of silence at the beginning. I'll show you how. All right, what's up guys? So today we're doing a video on dot, dot, dot. All right, so there we go. As you can see, before I started recording my commentary there, I had a long period of silence at the beginning where it was just background noise, as you can see by the little small dots on the waveform. While it won't sound like much if you're just listening, if you're not really paying attention, uh, it is very quite noticeable after you apply some effects, maybe maybe turn up the audio because you're speaking too quietly. And it just overall makes your audio sound just a lot less professional. So what you want to do is, after you've got your recorded commentary for whatever you're doing, is you want to select an area of background noise. I'm going to use this. Go up to Effect noise reduction, press get noise profile, and you can hit enter to, to uh, confirm it, and then deselect it, and go back to effect, noise reduction, and hit OK. You can mess around with these settings, but I found those to be very, very good already. Hit OK, and as you can see, the waveform, where there was once background, background noise, has, has been reduced greatly, and all you can see is the commentary over there. So let's do a quick before and after test to see what it sounded like before and after. Take note of the... Um, the playback level at the top and see how the background noise actually affects it. All right, what's up guys? So today we're doing a video on dot, dot, dot. So it sounds all right, but the background noise was very, very loud and you could hear quite a bit of hissing from the um, background noise of my microphone. Now, if we uh, go back to the uh, noise, re noise reduced version and we'll play that. All right, what's up guys? So today we're doing a video on dot, dot, dot. So as you can tell, it's a lot, a lot better. The playback level was a lot lower. There was a lot less background noise in this clip. And maybe with some music and such, you could just uh, make it so the background noise will be completely unnoticeable. So the next thing you want to do is um, head over to Effects and go to the Compressor. Uh, again, you can leave these um, settings as default. I found them to be very, very good. Simply hit OK. And this will make all of the noises in your recording um, much similar in loudness. So the quiet sounds will be made um, to about as loud as the other sounds, and it basically just, just averages out the audio to make a much more pleasurable listening experience. So let's give that a listen. All right, what's up, guys? So today we're doing a video on dot, 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 and we'll listen to it while it was before. All right, what's up, guys? So today we're doing a video on dot, dot, dot. So as you can tell, it's not as nice. Maybe it's um, just a little bit quiet in some areas. Um, it's maybe quite harder to hear. And it's just overall better when you have the compressor effect on. So after you're done, you can uh, cut out the sections of clips uh, of the audio you don't want. So we don't want this blank bit at the beginning. So just select it all and hit delete on your keyboard. And we don't want the bit at the end. Hit delete on your keyboard. And after it's done, you can go to File, Export Audio, 
choose a, choose a location to save it. I'm just going to save it to my desktop and just call it audio. And for the type, you can choose a WAV file, Microsoft 32-bit, and hit save and OK. And it will save the audio to your desktop. Um, now you can open it up in your um, editing software and you can add it over to your video, like I'll show you how to do now in Sony Vegas. All right, so you, you want to import, import your footage that you're going to be um, using. So I'm just going to go over to my movie making folder and just choose some Counter-Strike footage to use, drag it onto my timeline. I'm just going to hit yes on that. Then I want to go and get my audio as well. So I'll drag that into my project media and I'll put it at the bottom and I can move it around, maybe adjust the uh, loudness and such, and I can have some commentary of my video. All right, what's up guys? So today we're doing a video on dot, dot, dot. So obviously not, not the best example using just some um, random commentary over some Counter-Strike footage, but you get the idea. You can use it for whatever you want. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to see some more tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.